All right, friends, I'm going to finish off my St. Patrick's Day mixed mani here. Um, I've got a couple of these cute little clover strips. My daughter is using the other ones. I've got some leftover Gaelic greenery as well as some um, golden girly to give me this, this fun little pot of gold and clover mix. But what better way to top it off than with a rainbow? So I also have these wonderful... Um, strips here that I'm going to be using for my thumbs. And so I first want to remove that clear strip. Now the polish is exposed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and peel off the strip very carefully. And then I'm going to remove this little tear tab at the end. And sometimes it doesn't quite tear right where you want it to. And so you just have to go back and very gently pull at the edge so that it keeps that rounded shape. All right, so then from here, I'm gonna line it up with my cuticle. I'm gonna line it up to the bottom. And the other thing I will say is that if you are using a light colored, like a white, like this with a design on it, and you decide you wanna double layer it, you have to really make sure that you line up that um, that design otherwise the design does show through sometimes so what I like to do when I use these designs like this is that if I really want to put another layer on it um, I oftentimes will use my nail strengthener as a clear coat on top or our plumping top coat um, or maybe I'll add a glitter overlay to give it a touch of glitter um, but I don't like to do a lot of um, overlaying of the designs with these light colored strips because they just get a little bit tricky sometimes to line up. Um, and if you don't line them up just right, you start to see the designs coming through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this tight to the end, making sure that I have fully massaged it down to the nail surface. And then I'm gonna press it down to peel it off. And right here at this corner, I'm just gonna tuck that under the nail a little bit so that it can finish curing. Once it's done curing, it'll be a lot easier to come back and take a file to remove those pieces. Um, if I keep fiddling with it now, sometimes what will happen is I will end up taking off more than I really meant to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and then this strip is probably a little bit too short for my other thumbnail. I might be able to make it work. Let's see if I can put that one on. And line it up to the cuticle. Sometimes what I can do is just tug it a little bit to stretch it just enough um, so that I can get it to cover the full surface of the nail. And look at that, it did actually manage to make it just barely to the edge. <laughs> But here's the thing, is I've already done this thumb, that's normally my best tool, right? So at the very last nail that I'm doing, don't use your thumb to, um, to perforate your nail. Use a cuticle stick, and this is our cuticle um, stick of some sort. I like the metal ones just because I think they are a little bit sharper, it makes it a little bit easier to get a nice clean edge, and I'm just gonna gently press in. You don't need to really dig, you don't need to, you know, to really try and like cut it. You just want to perforate it a little bit right under the surface of the nail um, and then let it finish curing once it's done curing you can come back with a nail file later and that will allow you to smooth out any of those little edges right but don't use your thumbnail that has polish on it as your tool <laughs> that's a good way to ruin it um, because what happens is as you're pressing down this polish has not fully cured to your nail yet and so what happens is the polish then starts to peel back and you don't want that so now here you can see that I also have polish hanging off the side so I'm going to pull the skin back and try to pull the polish down to make sure that it takes good contact to my nail not to my skin because our polish is intended to adhere to the nail surface not our skin <laughs> if you get it on your skin I can guarantee you it will come off very quickly probably more quickly more quickly than you would like it to and you're going to be complaining so if you put your polish on and it goes over the edge and you do not uh, take the time to really push it down into those corners um, what's going to happen is that as it cures it's going to lift and then it's going to break off and it's going to probably break in a zigzag pattern you probably don't want that so we're going to go ahead and try to push this down here and again i get an edge of my nail here i'm going to try to to give me a clean cut 
just to clean that off and boop, there we go. And sometimes with these edges of my cuticles here where the skin is just a, a little, even though I do buff them with a buffing block, sometimes it's easier just to let it go and then come back later and, um, and file that edge with a nail file. And if I keep picking at it, I'm likely to make, make it worse and make it a boo-boo that I don't want to keep. So, um, all right, we're gonna push this down. Just keep pushing it into that little corner there that little crevice and as this fully cures um, you'll start to see that it, it will shrink up a little bit and it just kind of fits onto your nail like a little bit of a glove all right friends what do you think <laughs>